Hey guys, it's your favorite reliability test guy here with another awesome video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the RushTech non-parametric reliability test calculator. So when I say non-parametric, what I'm stating here is that it gives you pretty much just black and white. You enter your confidence level, you enter your reliability, and your failures allowed, and it will provide you with the sample size. I also have a parametric reliability test calculator that includes the shape parameter and also includes being able to enter in the mission time along with the test time in order to come up with an optimized sample size based off of your initial conditions. But in this video we will first look at the non-parametric reliability test calculator. So how do you get this calculator? Well you just go down here to your web browser And you just go to www.tomrush.com. Once you're on this page, you'll just go to over here to the tools and resources link. And you'll end up on my awesome page here with all sorts of tools, resources, and white papers. So be sure to check out the content here as there's a lot of valuable learnings and tools here. So once you're on this page, you'll go to reliability and test calculators and you'll go down here to the reliability test sample size calculator. You'll just go ahead and click on this, download it, and then open it up. All right, so once you're on this page, uh, pretty straightforward here. So you'll just enter your target confidence level your target reliability level and the number of failures you're allowing for your testing. Once you do that, you just press calculate sample size and ta-da! It get, provides a sample size output. Um, if you go in here, you can change your values for your confidence and your reliability. And we do that and you end up with a sample size of 16 and the same thing with failures allowed. You can change your failures allowed which in turn is going to increase your required sample size by having failures allowed. Um, so that's pretty much it for this calculator. Pretty simple uh, and straightforward. Um, here in this tab, down here, instructions, you can uh, read through how to use the calculator. It's pretty easy. Uh, if you do come across any kinds of uh, glitches or errors or uh, corner cases that d uh, produce a non desirable output, please let me know. And uh, I really appreciate it. Okay. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.